Hello, welcome back, and if this is your first time here, um, welcome to the channel. Um, in this episode, I'm going to be installing um, some curtains. Um, now, I know it's a bit premature at this stage of the build to be putting curtains up, um, but I want to get these rails in um, on the driver's side, because this window, um, where the rails are going to go, is behind um, the wall panel. Um, so I'm going to have to take the wall panel off um, to install these. It would be really awkward trying to install these with the panel in situ if I did it later on after I'd started building all the furniture and things. Um, so I've just got two, um, two large nails basically hammered into my desk or into my uh, piece of worktop, that's all it is. Um, it's what the ones with the uh, roll plugs on the outside, um, I can't remember what they're called. I think mean, there's more nails than, uh, than screws. Anyway, um, I'm just sort of bending it around there and using a little piece of wood just to try and get the shape I want or a decent enough shape to start with. Um, it seemed to work with the nails. Um, I wouldn't recommend it for everybody, but it seemed to work for me, so uh, I was quite happy with it. Um, now, if uh, um, if you hear me smacking my lips, I must apologise. I've just had a great big custard donut. Um, I know I shouldn't, but um, you're only old once, eh? So here's the panel I need to remove, um, and then we can get the uh, the rails installed. So, so that's the panel off, and um, we're just going to offer this up and use a a piece of wood and a hammer just to try and improve the shape of the reel trying to keep it as smooth as possible just for well these curtains in this corner anyway I don't think they'll move very much anyway but um, you want to keep it as smooth as you possibly can so I'm just working my way around with this piece of wood the uh, curtains um, are from a company called Van X. Um, they're a good quality product. Um, it's a blackout curtain on one side with a sort of a normal heavyweight um, curtain material on the other. Um, nice product, actually. Um, I'd recommend them to anybody. Um, now I've marked up the uh, where I wanted to do the drill the holes so here with a marker. Um, but I needn't have bothered because I'm going to put a piece of electrical tape on now um, which is going to cover up, cover up the, uh, the marks so I may as well have just put the tape on to start with um, but uh, dipstick coming out again you see um, the pieces of tape will just stop the drill moving around when I try and drill through the, the rail and uh, it'll stop it marking it So I'll just wipe the um, wipe the marker off. So I'm just drilling the holes here. I'm just working my way along. So that's them done, now I'm just taking a file and I'm just removing any of the burrs that are on the back. Now I'm just going to offer it up, then it's just a case of drilling a hole into the bodywork and putting the screws in. Um, these screws and all the fitments all come with the curtains. Um, everything's there and um, there's press studs as well. Or poppers or whatever you want to call them um, to fix to the bodywork as well to hold the side curtain of the curtains in and um, just to stop any light coming out or getting through stop any prying eyes looking through any little holes so it's just a case of uh, working your way along basically and screwing them down This doesn't last much longer. I should have trimmed this bit out. Good, so that's it all screwed down. 
and now I'm going to put some of these little end caps on this is just to stop the curtain coming off the the rail these are small brass screws that go into this the others are um, stainless steel and the small brass screws for the poppers as well um, these are the curtain they've got already they've got the little um, plastic hooks on that go into the runner they're already fitted um, seem very secure I believe they're actually molded to the to the curtain and I've got my hands in the way so you can't really see what I'm doing but I'm just threading it through just getting one side on to start with and then we're going to start on the other side it would have been a lot easier if I'd put that end cap on the top before I tried to start threading this through um, Well, I couldn't have actually, with the first one, I couldn't have done that because I've got another curtain to go on. Dipstick. <laughs> right, so on this one, I tried uh, doing it a different way. Uh, I tried doing the bottom one first, just to see if it was any easier. Um, but it wasn't. Um, so there's the end cap on the top, um, just to stop them flying off while I'm trying to put the bottom, bottom ones on. Uh, it's just a case of feeding it in and and then I added the end cap on the bottom as well and now I'm going to be putting the uh, the poppers or press studs onto it I've drilled a hole prior to this and now it's just a case of screwing it on uh, when you're doing these um, don't screw it in too tight or you'll screw straight through the popper you just want it so it's just secure and then it's this um, sort of a popper each side and the middle one is a, um, a tie back. And I believe one side is slightly longer than the other, so it needs to sort of go around the back. And that's the job done. Um, it's just a case of uh, putting the panel back on. And that's it, that's the panel back on. So I'd uh, just like to say thank you very much for watching again. And I hope to see you in the, the next one. Um, take care now.